Hi everyone, this is Sion from Three Sprockets, the maker of Cubeman. I just wanted to give you a quick walkthrough and first peek at the new level editor that's coming in a future version of Cubeman. I've got it to a state now where it's I can showcase it. In the background you can hear some cool new music that is shipping with Cubeman 1.2. Uh, Cubeman has a, a new range of music tracks that come in the game and there's also a 10 track album that's being released. So I'm super, super excited about that, can't wait to uh, get that out for everyone to have a listen to. Okay, let's jump into the level editor. I'm going to do this pretty quickly. So it's the uh, similar navigation controls that what's in a current, what's in the current game. So you've got right mouse button to uh, move around, spin the board and zoom is on the scroll wheel. I'm just going to jump into making a level. So click new level, you can obviously choose the, pick the size of the level and then uh, choose which game mode you're making it for. I'm just going to call this one Happy Feet, because I have no idea why I am just chose that. Okay, so here is our level, as you can see, the little red indicator highlighting over the different tiles. We've got some information on the right hand side uh, about the level, and we've got our toolbar that's become visible. We've also got on the bottom right some information about the particular tool that we're on. Um, what I've actually done is implemented some really cool keyboard shortcuts for desktop users to be able to navigate the toolbar pretty quickly. Uh, the first one and the best one is the ability to hit spacebar to move between sculpt mode and everything off. And while you're inside a mode, if there's multiple options like sculpt up or down, the tab key, uh, sorry, the shift key alternates between those. So let's start sculpting. So you can obviously click, 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 click on any particular tile you want it to raise. You can multi click. Or you can just click and hold and it'll actually just paint tiles for you. And if you obviously hold over a piece that's already been lifted, it'll keep lifting it higher and higher. And you can go all the way up 9 units, which is the maximum. The same as what's in the current version of Cubeman, all the levels. So as you can see, that's pretty um, easy to use. I can obviously go back to, I can hit shift and then I can use them to, to drop them back down again. I can use this to just to lower it go back into grow mode so it, it's pretty straightforward you can kind of build whatever shapes you want I'm gonna have something that kind of builds up here a bit so you can climb up that uh, obviously units can only climb one tile height at a time so technically units can get all the way up here all the way down I'm also going to maybe join this in over here um, put some more here, might stick some areas there that people can climb up and then I'm going to all the way down here place an area for my base. So here's a level that we've designed I'm going to now show you the next tool. So the next one is the float tool which allows you to have floating tile pieces. So there's three different options inside the float tool you can drop a new one and then you can move them up and down. Okay, That's not going to grow them up and down like the sculpt does, it's going to move them up and down. So I'm just going to go drop one over uh, here. And as you can see, a new floating tile piece has dropped in. Now, you notice how it only dropped it into about two units above the piece below. That's because they have to, by default, the level editor won't let you place a piece too low to prevent large units like the, the boss enemy from being able to walk underneath them. So if I go into my move down mode, I literally cannot move it further. It gives me a warning telling me why I can't move it. I can of course move it up, but I can't move it down. There we go, I can't move it down any further than that. Okay. Now obviously up and down only works on floating pieces. I can't just go to up and down here and click on this one, it won't do anything, because it knows it's not a floating piece. So I could literally just go and drop one there, and I can drop one there and there. Let's build a bridge going across. Now these ones obviously are lower because the what's below them was lower, but I can now go and lift them up, so I can make this straight. And I might now go back to my sculpt and build a section here that people can climb all the way up. Here we go. So you can literally climb up all the way up here. You could walk along that piece. And I'm going to do the same on this side. So units can get all the way up along there, go up the top and back down the other side. So that is the float tool. Now, with the sculpt tool, you can obviously click on a, you can go into down mode and click on something to remove it. But you can't do that with a floating tile. If you want to get rid of a floating tile, you need to actually go to 
the erase tool. Now the erase tool will not only erase a floating tile like that one, but it'll also erase a whole stack in one hit. So I can click on that and a whole stack of the sculpted tiles gone. I'm going to put that back in again. There's currently no undo in the level editor and I probably won't be shifting an undo. So be careful. It's going to go back to float. I'm going to oops, go to drop mode. Drop one back in, and there we go. So now we've got our bridge across there. Now another thing, obviously, is you can sculpt floating pieces. So I can go back to my sculpt mode, and I can actually go here now and sculpt those. It treats it as a normal piece. It's just that it's a floating piece, so it can't go all the way to the ground, and it can't have anything less than a two-unit gap below it. But now technically, you have units go all the way up there and all the way up down again, which is pretty cool. Okay, so we have a level. Um, what I'm going to do before I forget is click save and just save it. Okay, that's saved my level for me. It's actually saved it on the our, our internet servers, so it'll be there for me. It knows it's my level and I can go back and edit it at another time. So, the next thing I'm going to do is I want to test the level, but I can't test it. Now, the reason I can't test it is I haven't had any bases yet. So, first thing I'm going to do is place a player base and I'm going to place my player base all the way over here. And as you can see, it's blue just like it would be in the normal game. Now I can place up to one player base in a defense level, so if I go to try to place another one, it won't let me and it gives me an error. But I can click on the player base to remove it and click somewhere else to place it again. So if you've made a mistake, you can remove it and move it. Okay, so I've got a player base, now I'm going to put some enemy bases in. Now you can have up to four enemy bases on any particular level. So I'm going to stick an enemy base up here, because that's pretty cool. I'm going to stick one... Hmm, I don't know. I'm going to stick one over here, and I might just stick one in the middle over here. Okay, so I've got those bases in there. It will now let me test the level, because there are enough bases inside. You must have at least one player base and one enemy base to test the level. Now, testing, there's two parts to it. The first one is calculating all of the pathfinding information, which I'm going to show you now. The second half is obviously play testing the level, which I won't be showing you in this video. So, let's go and click test level. It starts going through and working out all the pathfinding information. And it's gone red and we've got a whole lot of errors. Now, what are the errors? The errors say, enemy base 1 cannot reach the player base, enemy base 2 cannot reach the player base, enemy base 3 cannot reach the player base. So, let's work out why. So let's have a look, let's zoom in a bit. Okay, we've got a player base. Okay, here's our first problem. There has to be, well, units can't travel diagonally inside um, cube men. So, there has to be a right angle joining these pieces together. So if I go to Sculpt, here, I can now fill that gap in, and now there's a full right angle that can go all the way to here, and go all the way to the right hand side. Okay, let's look at what else there is. So technically we can go all the way around here, to that base, enemy base, all the way around here to this one, this one here could still be a problem. Let's just try it out. All right? So we go to test. Starts testing everything again. And we've now got only one error. So there is one base still that we can't get to. It was actually this one here. Because it doesn't join on over here anyway. So let's go fix that now. Let's take one there. And I'll stick one there. So now they can climb all the way around. No, they can't. Because they can't get up to here because that's two units high. So let's just place another one here. Okay, or alternatively, we could have just done this, which we might do anyway. Alright, you can now climb up there and through there. Okay, so, now test that, and hopefully it'll stay blue. And it has, and so now the level's good, it's tested, it's worked, it's playable, so we can save it again. Okay, so that's how you create a level, that's how you save a level. Now let's have a look at loading levels, existing levels, and editing existing levels. So click continue. So. If I go to click new level now, it knows that I've got a current level in here and asks me if I want to save it in case I haven't saved it. Uh, ignore the fact that I've got one here and cancel. Um, in this case, I'm just going to cancel. What I can also do is click load and it gives me the same. Oh, a little bit of an error underneath here. Um, it shows me a list of all my levels that I've currently got. Here's Happy Feet, as you can see. Let's load up um, Graw. If I click Graw, it loads in an existing level that I've already got. As you can see, I can go and modify this now if I want to. Go to Sculpt, I can remove bits, I can 
what do I want to do? I'm not going to go and change this level too much. Whoops. Okay, and I can again go back to my happy feet level whenever I want to. And we've got a bug. Awesome. As I said, it's not quite ready for release yet. Um, what I might do is just close it up. Try that again. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. I'll have to find what the problem is here. But um, something obviously went wrong with the saving of that level. It's blah blah. Here's another one I've done earlier. This is a skirmish level, so this also gives me uh, the ability to place locations that um, my units can go to. Because as you know, with a, a skirmish or a mayhem game, there are limited placement positions for units. Anyway, this was a really quick overview of the level as, uh, as it is right now. As you can see, it's not quite finished, but it's uh, it's definitely getting there and I hope to have it out very shortly. I'll post another video soon that shows a more robust version and also the ability to playtest the level. Okay, speak to you soon. Internets, bye.